those mobile, medyo bagong lumabas yun. Pero they're trying to take up market share. Pero medyo nahihirapan sila. Yung growth ng Android is virtually certain na eh, na papalaki na papalaki yung gumagamit ng Android. Tapos, ito pa yung indicators na people who want to watch your, parang kunti lang sila, ano yung gusto mong next phone? Marami sa kanila, gusto nila Android. Malamang yung magiging next phone nila. Okay? Ngayon, sa Android, merong iba-ibang versions. No? Yung pinaki, yung mga pangalan ng mga versions na yon, yung pinaka luma, yung top cake. No? So, nag start siya with C. Yung sumunod, donut, yung pangatlo, eclair, yung pang-apat, royo, anong kamapansin nyo? C, D, E, F, and then, yung pinaka-popular ngayon, gingerbread, no? So, G. Yung gingerbread, yun yung mobile uh, version ng Android for phones. Yung honeycomb na sumunod, ito naman para sa mga tablets. Okay? Tandaan nito ha. Importante nito. May quiz mamaya. <laughs> Tapos, yung latest version, yung ice cream sandwich. Ano yung common na pattern dito? Aside from ABCD, anong... Lahat sila? Pagkain, mga cakes, mga ano... Kaya naalala ko tuloy, nagugutok na kayo. Okay, sige. So, may bisak pa na, ha? At present, yung pinaka-common, yung gingerbread, yung tablets, honeycomb. Yung latest release nila, ice cream sandwich. Okay? The future of Android. So, nagsapan natin, ito yung ngayon, ano yung mga upcoming developments sa Android? There's, a, there's something called Android at Home. Android at Home, um, Google Wallet, Google TV, and mister, parang mystery. We don't know what else will be coming. The Android at Home allows Android devices to control your home appliances. Example, lights, aircon, para siyang remote. No? In 2011, at their conference called Google I.O., dinemo nila yung mga light control, mga uh, devices and appliances like lights na nakokontrol ng mga Android devices. We also have media appliances. No? So yung mga TV nyo, yung uh, stereo, pwede nyo rin control via your Android phone or tablets. No? Kitchen appliances pati. No? Uh, one of the funnier examples was meron isang app dun sa Android tapos meron siyang exercise machine. So pag tumatakbo siya, nakaka-tumatakbo buhay bilis yung application. Pag mabagal siya, makahabol siya ng monsters sa application. So kailangan tumakbo siya na tumakbo na mabilis. Physically, hindi lang yung naglalaro. No? So a lot of other applications. So this is something that's coming. No? Google Wallet naman, uh, it came with the latest version. You can now pay using your Google phone. Meron tinatawag ng technology called um, NFC or Near Field Technology. Essentially, di ba, pag uh, kunyari sa uh, yung, yung parang isa swipe na lang yung phone mo, ibinig mo lang sa isang device, i-charge na niya yung uh, kailangan mong bayaran. So, isang example nun sa US is sa isang supermarket, they have these devices para siyang, oh, check mo yung bill mo. Okay, so let's say, ang bill ko, $200. Isaswipe ko yung Google phone ko, babawasan niya dun sa credit card ko yung $200. I don't even need to have my credit card anymore. So, yun yung concept nun. So, imagine, um, once we develop those technologies here in the Philippines, ganun ka na rin magbabayad. Pwede sa MRT, instead na pipila ka, swipe mo lang yung phone, pasok ka na dun sa ano, hindi ka na pipila para bumili ng ticket. Diba? So ganun yung intention nun is, we charge nila directly from your phone to your credit card 
Tapos, ibabawasan na lang yung automatically. Another example is yung Google TV. Um, actually, itong Google TV, hindi siya tinatawag na Google TV. It's called Smart TV. Ang nagbebenta nito ngayon, meron ng Samsung, meron ng Sony. So may kita nyo, may mga maglaking billboards kung minsan na sabihin nila, Smart TV by Samsung or Smart TV by Sony. Those are actually Google-powered, uh, Android-powered uh, uh, devices. No? And it combines your interactive web experience na nakakapit sa web. Pwede kang mag-manood ng YouTube videos on your TV. Basically. And there's more. No? Um, hindi ko lang alam kasi, kasi hindi naka-set up yung internet ko, but uh, I wanted to show you yung isang uh, app called Layar. No? Layar is an augmented reality browser. Uh, I'll try to see if I can show you a short demo of Layar. But before we start with that, um, It's an existing app. So, kung sino sa inyo may Android po, hanapin nyo dun sa Android market to, kung download it. It allows you to build your own augmented reality apps. Okay? So, surprise mo. Try to play. And I'll just show you what what. That was two years ago. Today, I have it running here. Um, actually, di pa natin tayo sa mag-retrieve ng data. So, they, basically, it uses yung phone, yung camera app, yung camera mo. No? Kinukuha na yung picture ko. Ngayon, okay, nangyitin ako kayo. Tapos, uh, wala ang results dito sa likod eh. Pero, basically, what it's showing is it overlays on top of yung kinukuha ng camera mo. Uh, ito na ho, may, may results din sa likod eh. It's still retrieving the pictures. But it uses yung uh, an app called Panoramio where people upload pictures of locations. Oh, yung elevated view pa rin din sa C5. Kukunan ko ng picture. Upload ko. Sabihin ko sa kong pinuha ng picture na yun. Ngayon, dito, may ito yung picture na yun along with where I'm looking at it. Okay, so But it's a way to augment reality. What what um, the camera is taking a picture of, kinukunan niya right now. 
Um, walang results dito. Um, for those of you, ayan, merong, merong nakakakita siguro yung dito sa ayan. Nakita nyo may photo dito sa tabi. Yan yung photo na in-upload doon. So doon kinuha yun. And it says here, gano'ng kalayo. Ha, ah, kinunan to. 497 meters away. So doon, pag pumunta ako doon, nilakad ko mapunta doon, may hita ko to picture nito. Okay? So, layer is an example of an augmented reality application. Okay? Ito na yung single doon, ano? Kung wala ka yung buton? Okay. So it's an augmented reality browser. It's an existing app. You can download it if you have an Android phone. The thing here is, okay, so sasabihin mo, eh, no, ngayon, at may so meron na augmented reality app, it allows you to build your own. You can add yung tinatawag na layers, no? Wherein, oh, uh, and this is what we're doing. Mer meron akong ginawang sample na applications. Uh, unfortunately, I can't show it to you right now, but ang idea doon is, um, you can build your own applications on top of this. So, ganun din. Like, for example, isang pwedeng isang app. Saan mo pwedeng gamitin itong layer app na to? Kalalampas lang ng February 14, di ba? Um, yung may mga walang... Sino yung dito yung... Let's go. Ang tapos natin, sino dito yung walang date? Yung may mga walang date, maghahanap kayo, di ba? So, pwede mo ilagay doon, I'm looking for a date. Tapos, yung ibang nagkahanap ng ibang date, pag gano'n mo, uy, may makikita ka in the distance. Uy, dito siya, meron nagkahanap. And it knows where you are. It knows where the others are. And then you can say, ah, okay, pwede nyo ipadisplay siguro yung avatar mo. Avatar mo sa Facebook or avatar mo sa, sa Twitter or wherever. No? Tapos, uy, I want to meet this person. So, maglalakad kayo. Masabihin niya yung distance. And where? Pag gumaganon ka, may hita mo, ah, ito yun. Pag medyo malapit ka na, naaaniyan mo na yung potential. Pag ayaw mo, pwede ka pa ng God. <laughs> Isang magandang idea yun, di ba? Okay. So, ngayon, ah, uh, yung hindi natin nagawa kanina na yung na-previous ano, how do you build an Android app? Tanong ko ulit, ilan dito yung marunong ng Java? Raise your hands. Dami. Huwag na kayo mahiya kung ano yung ano. Ngayon, if you know Java, it's very easy to learn Android. Unlike yung kanila, yung sa iPhone, mag-aaral pa kayo ng Objective-C, ganyan, ganyan, tapos magbabayad pa kayo. You just download the SDK. Ah, uh, by the way, sino rin itong gumagamit ng Eclipse sa mga Java? Yun! There's an Eclipse plugin for Android development. Um, okay. So, ito yung Android. Yung, we're gonna do a... We're gonna run an emulator. Uh, we're gonna create your first Android program. It's not gonna be Hello World. Ito yung mga features nun. You can look up websites. You can find locations. You can call the phone. You can look up contacts. No? And then we'll discuss. Okay. So, dadahan nung pala kung ano yung kailangan mong gawin. Um, there's something called Android Manifest. So, bibilisan ko lang ha. Hindi naman ito learning session on Android development. But, just to give you a taste. So, you just modify this file. Masabihin mo, itong app ko, tatawag siya ng phone, magko-connect siya sa internet, mag-release siya ng contacts. Um, ay, kala, tingnan ko kung nakakabit ako sa internet. Wala, uh, wala, nakakabit sa internet. Hindi ang nakakabit sa internet. Um, Ay, butang ko yung kabit sa internet. Kasi, mahirap eh. Mukhang hindi natin magagawa yung demo dahil wala akong internet. But I'll show you slowly yung emulator na lang. Anyway, ito yung mga gagawin mo. Uh, merong layout. 
No, na essentially, parang, parang siyang HTML. Sino rito marunong nang mag-edit ng HTML? Ayun. Marunong na kayo mag-edit ng edit screens. No, yung, yung UI ng Android. It's very similar. Um, this is what? This is Java code. Diba? Tapos Java code pa rin to. Tapos XML to. Sino marunong ng XML? Yun. So marunong na kayo ng Android development. Um, try kong mag-run na Android ko. Without a keyboard. Wala akong keyboard dito. Nandun yun. Ako. So, so try kong patakbuhin. Uh, medyo ano ah, konting is lang ang konting kasi mahirap ang uh, mahirap pala pag walang keyboard So this is an emulator, no? An emulator ng Android. Medyo maganda yun natin tali. Ano muna? Uh, habang nag-launch yung... Ano, dapat kasi kanina pa pa ni-launch ko, pero mayroon kasi i-launch ko na dito sa mga. Okay, so this is an emulator. What it allows you to do is you don't even need an Android phone. All you need is a PC to start developing. Just like yung kanina, yung sa Mac, yung sa iPhone, you don't need an actual iPhone to develop applications. No? Pero, at some point, syempre, gusto mong makita yung app mo dun sa phone mo. No? Um, then, you can get a cheap Android phone or a second-hand Android phone, pwede pa rin yun. No? And again, you don't need to pay anybody. Yun yung kagandahan. No? internet connection, nakapag-demo tayo ng ibang ano eh, nung maps na ka ano. Pero unfortunately, only, only thing I can do is nagkodi ko ako siya. Uh, kung gusto kong tumawag, kailangan lang ng keyboard. Okay. So type ko, Six, three, 
Se on aika vähän lehti siinä. Ito yung kusina namin. Pag kinik ko yung call, isa-simulate niya yung actual na calling. On an actual device, it will actually call it. So, yung ganun ka-exceed code kanina na pinakita ko sa inyo, pwede na akong mag-dial na application. Imagine yung nag-ring siya. Wala lang yung ringing phone, but it can now call. Uh, balik tayo. Pwede na natin i-dial. Ilalabas niya yung ano pwede kong i-edit dito. Okay. Meron pa ibang pwedeng gawin. Like, uh, hanapin yung contacts ko. No? So, balik tayo. Meron marami na naman akong type. Makakatis pa kayo? Yes! Uh, ay, so. Back. Yeah. Um, lang, edit. Yeah. The title of my mail is contact. Hi. Contact. I'm going to Ah, content. Pala. Uh, content, tandaan nyo lang kaya sabihin nyo sa akin ha Content Contact uh, Content colon slash slash contacts people Okay, tandaan nyo yun ha So yung mag-read back, dahil hindi mo natandaan Content Tapos colon Slash 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 Contacts Ano ba? Contacts ba? Contacts. Contacts ba? Slash people. Yan. Tapos, slash. Okay. Tapos, click to view. Madang, pumupunta siya sa contact application ko. Tapos, in-display niya doon yung mga laman ng contact ko. So, isa lang yung laman niya, si Rod de la Cruz lang. Balik tayo dito, lagyan natin ng 1. Pupunta niya si Juan de la Cruz, kasi siya yung number 1. Okay? And, balikan ko yung code. No? Ito lang yun. Lahat nung ginawa natin kanina, ito lang yun. This very short change. This very short program. Lahat yun pwede siyang... Kung meron tayong internet, papakita ko sa inyo paano meron tayong website ng Makati, ng University of Makati. Tsaka yung... Pati yung maps ng Makati, kung saan nakalagay yung University of Makati, ito lang pakita ko saan sa inyo. Lahat yun, kaya. Now, um... So basically, if you want to learn more about Android development, ito yung mga links. So, pinaka ano, is the developer, for developers, it's developer.android.com. Bibigyan kayo niyan lahat ng kailangan nyo. Downloads, sample code, tips. Okay? Tapos, meron din dito Philippines, there's a group called um, Google Technology Users Group. No? So yung mga yun, interesado sa lahat ng Google Technologies, including Android. So you can look up dun sa Google kung saan yung Gito. No? Uh, as well as there are other um, mobile development groups, in particular sa Android, dito sa Philippines. So kung interesado kayo and you want to meet other developers who are already developing Android, parang meron kayo pwede matanungan, um, definitely, lahat ng resources available sa inyo. So with that, I'd like to thank everyone for making this important video. Thank you very much.